He won handsomely. Mm -hmm. Now, electoral commission before Omo accepting this or a parliamentarian no, or even as an aspirant, you no, know, there were processes that the electoral commission also went through. They cleared him, mm -hmm. and he stood and he won. Now, funny enough, Supreme Court, they never brought the question of electoral commission. Electoral commission, they are the arbiters when it comes to elections. Mm -hmm. So they are supposed to enforce the rules and regulations. Mm -hmm. But they were left out of the, 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 the seat at the Supreme Court. Kwesin was alone on his uh, on himself. Mm -hmm. Found that he should his name to be expunged from the for, from the records of parliament. Of parliament. For me, I thought it's a travesty of justice. Mekani uh, Debia say our justice system. No, it's not a justice system we used to know. But I stand to be corrected and not to be in contempt of court because Niame Kanene say me na me ganeni me tukwa ko South Africa. My just South African citizenship. Mm -hmm. My bad authorities who are South Africa. I catch them say I'm renouncing my citizenship. Mm -hmm. I've given them all the documentation. Say who he has said me to be a mom. I'm say I'm renouncing my citizenship. Mm -hmm. They take it. They accept it. Now in Ghana, no Supreme Court they can say them responding and doing what they have to do has now become the responsibility of Kwesin. Now, boss, me was South Africa. I remember say. During COVID time, I yeah, maybe bring for four permit expire. Make me permit me a problem, but they get they gave us exclusive um, um, access to other things because almost say COVID ne buy no. Obi a nje juma, obi a ufi. So things became very slow. Mm. Look at the time our question SNA that is renunciation letter, and look at the times that we lived in at that time. Unfortunately, the Supreme Court has not looked at that, and they gave a judgment. But the good people of Asin North. Gave another verdict and the Supreme Court should feel ashamed of. But we are here today. Ye nim cases are a very important in this Ghana, mm. but they don't hear it on a on a daily basis. Why is there so much cloud? Say, just question in Kwanza, no, ye bedi ni debia. And NDC is worried about this because yate president comment on my president said it. Katie Hammond said it. At, Attorney General said it. I said they know, say there is an end game to what they are doing. But whatever it is, no, God is the lifter of men. To say I make a and Kwesi's case, it's a clinical example. Say whatever you do, when you do it right, no, God will vindicate you. In the NDC, we believe say we'll fight it in the court. The court says every day he should come to court. He will go to the court every day because we respect the judicial system. But in exercising that, no. The minority caucus has also sent out a warning. Mm. So if there's no cooperation, you shouldn't expect there to be development. Of course. We would not cooperate with them. And at the end of the day, they tend to persecute us. We, we will be very careful about that. Interesting days and times ahead. But Niameme can say, we as Ghanaians should let the Supreme Court know, say, the law indeed is in their bosom, mm. but the law resides with the people. So Muhunaza. The, the, the law resides with the people. And I think that uh, that's a quote that we, we, we need to actually ponder over mm. uh, for, for a period of time now. You mentioned that they are persecuting that equation, mm. but they are not prosecuting it. Yes, this this is, for me, it's political vindictiveness. For me, it's, it's what's the question case in the year, we had people comparing it to the Abu Sakande issue. But... The legal luminaries have told us that these are two clear distinctions when it comes to the case and what actually are the facts of the matter. The persecution in the sense that you've heard the Attorney General saying that uh, Kwesin Limse, he's wasting everybody's time knowing very well that he will go to jail. If you are a true prosecuting officer, prosecuting a case where in our legal and, and criminal jurisprudence, no, you are not guilty until proven. Yeah. And a, a, a chief scribe, the attorney general, the legal advisor to the president, pass a comment and says that the honorable question is wasting time knowing very well that he's going to jail. If it's not persecution, what else is it? We've had an attorney general a day in, day out. Uluzu Kesa, he doesn't go to fight the case. He goes to fight the system, get judges changed, and after that, he wins the case. But you see, posterity is going to judge us all as a country. Because the attitude and the posture of Godfrey Odami, the, the current attorney general, then you say, say, 
we are heading towards a quagmire again to me. Already, no, 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 and he's, he's faced with the consequences of the things he has done. I think Ghanaians will really appreciate the fact that nobody is above the law. You, 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 are, you are in the diaspora. Mm. When you hear say, somebody who hitherto now come home in the diaspora, I am not going to say, how do you feel? Well, I'm not a dispensation. I hear one of it's 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 hey i'll give the person advice they don't waste your time because oh yeah i'll say that Come on. Once, uh, and, uh, i heard um you kind of saying sam jonah the chancellor of uh, cape coast university crying about the way your nurses echo amanoni yes. in Ghana, mm. the brain drain syndrome yeah but when you have a system like this you see it's like you use one hand to take and then the other hand you use to persecute the person Look at foreign direct remittances that come into the economy of Ghana. So it means that you can accept the foreign direct investments that come from people living in the diaspora. But when it comes to you also protecting them and making them, making them to be rightful as Ghanaians, you, know, mm. you have a problem with it. Mm -hmm. But when they bring the money, you take it and you say, say these are monies coming from Ghanaians living in the diaspora. And yet hypocrisy, what is this? The law is there. Let's look at the framers of the, uh, of the Constitution, the 19 con uh, 1992 Constitution. It has been clear. There's a difference between being a citizen and naturalizing as one. But we share the way the law is being interpreted because I can say NDC now, the receiving NCC. Mm. So <laughs> the law is not being interpreted. Yeah, the Supreme Court, will, they should hear the case. For me, I was telling my colleagues in the party, say, look, if the Supreme Court lies, they should hear the case every 30 minutes. <laughs> if that's what they want. Every 30 minutes, just a question should go to court. And then we as the people, the Supreme Court's ruling, you know, have you read it? Mm. Have you read the Supreme Court mm -hmm. ruling? For me, I felt, I, I felt ashamed as a Ghanaian. Because as a layman, the reasons they gave in that ruling, it's an apology. It's... It, it, well, say, they, they've just done it. And you see, if I was the attorney general, looking at the victory Kwesin got in the, in the by-election, I wouldn't even continue what I'm doing. Why? Because the truth of the matter is that the gentleman did what he had to do, made sure that he had done what the law expects of him. He did it. If the authorities in Canada didn't finish up with what it is that they are supposed to do, then what is, what is, why are we blaming him? Why are you blaming him for something that was not done by the authorities in Canada? It's like, Amoka said, when you go to renounce your citizenship and there are legal ways that you have to go through, you've gone through the legal ways. Then they say, ensure that whatever they have to do, they should do it within two or three days. Who does that? Who does that? So, so honestly, you know, media mechanics say, um, the tide will change. And when the tide changes, nobody, nobody, those who are silent now and seeing this impunity going on, they shouldn't come preach to us tomorrow when the tide changes. Because this impunity, everybody is seeing the degree to which the Attorney General is persecuting Kwesin. And the Attorney General is a legal spokesperson for the government, acting on behalf of the President. So, Media Mika saying, yeah, Attorney General, the President is also persecuting Kwesin, and it's just not fair. Chairman, if you indulge me, yes. uh, my main court charge sheet uh, the state, one more Edoko to High Court, uh, one more Enono uh, Mujinaso, a day abo a Yura Jachi question in the Cardinal. Now, if you go to the particulars of a uh, year, the charge sheet, uh, or say the offenses are Ura Jachi question in our committee, or say offense number one, uh, okay, Jachi uh, question, or say particulars of offense. Jati question on or about a year. I tell you, I'm Na phone ya me brad the mami me 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 up and I come here baby for fro. Kwesi ya me kasa. Ozi count one statement of offence. Ozi 
deceit of public officer contrary to section 251B of the Criminal Offenses Act of 1960 at 29. This is the particulars. James Jachikwesen, on or about 29th of July 2019 at the passport office, Accra, uh, with intent to facilitate the, ob the obtaining of a Ghanaian passport, deceived the Ministry of Foreign Affairs by making a false statement that you do not have a dual citizenship, a statement which you, and in this case, with reference to Ruya equation, which you did not have a good reason to believe to be true at the time of making it. Count two, offense statement. Forgery of passport or travel certificate contrary to section 151B of the Passport and Travel Certificates Act of 1967, NLCD 155. James Jachikwesen, on or about 26th of July 2019, at the passport office Accra, made a false statement that you do not have a dual citizenship for the purpose of procuring a passport, a statement you knew to be untrue at the time of making it. Count three, statement of offense, knowingly making a false statutory declaration Contrary to Section 5 of the Statutory Declarations Act 1971, Act 389, particulars near James Judge Equation, on or about 6th of October 2020, Atasim Fusu made a statutory declaration that you do not owe allegiance to any country other than Ghana, a statement which you knew to be false in a material particular at the time of making it. The last two uh, statement of offenses, perjury, contrary to Section 210 of the Criminal Offenses Act of 1960, Act 29, and the final one is false declaration for office, contrary to Section 248 of the Criminal Offenses Act 1960, Act 29. Chairman, if indeed the thinking of the National Democratic Congress is that Judge mm. Kwesin did nothing wrong, why should that not be an expedition of uh, yeah, the case? Said Yebeya, Obia Betin Huasi, and Jachi Kwesin, as well as the National Democratic Congress, will stand vindicated. Well, of course, that's that's exactly what we are doing. Um, um, the lead counsel for Kwesin has filed processes that we needed to file. And I encase and cocot, even during the election, before the, the by election. You know, he had to come to court and ensure say, he respects the, uh, uh, the authority of the court. Nana, I'm a tear charge sheet now, Kaya. And for me, these are laughable. Tell me, you're laughable. Very laughable. Now, well, um, they've, they've quoted public officers, they've quoted the passport office, they've quoted whatever. But I never saw anywhere where they quoted the Electoral Commission. Mm. There's no way in the mm -hmm. chat sheet no. about Electoral Commission um, doing what they have to do to pass him and all of that. Mm. Electoral Commission is not there. Yeah. Okay. Very well. Um, and I've, 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 I've it, it's, it's, it's laughable. Mm. Because look, we have said one thing and mm. we continue to maintain that thing. Say, did Quasin tender in the, 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 the his allegiance, uh, resignation, let's call it a resignation as a Canadian uh, a citizen. citizen. When did he tender it in? Is, it, is there a proof that he did it on the day that he said he did it? None of them have disputed it. Yes, he did it. Now, the question now is that what he did, no. The authorities didn't finish up what he has to finish. What, why are you prosecuting somebody because of this? I thought they would cite Quaison and cite the Canadian authorities and say, Quaison is saying that if I am Quaison, and I, I, I'm not a legal person, but I also cite and say, I'm also suing the Canadian authorities because on the day, uh, Miss Submittee, whatever renunciation that I submitted, no, mm -hmm. they were supposed to expedite action on it. Mm -hmm. And they come to court and they tell me, say, COVID has happened. How do we do it? You see, as Ghanaians, let's not be blinded and take our blindness to the law. It is not going to help us. Today is question. Ochinebi Ebeye will be uncle. 
And the person will say, say, and I'm uncle Ibuakana, and I'm uncle. Look, there's a school of thought that has spoken about Dr. Uh, Mahamudu Bahumia, and so ne citizenship as a UK person. But you see, because the, the agenda for, for the media is set according to what they want, you know, the parameters are in their favor. The law is there. But you know, say, the law would not be on our side because we are in opposition. The law will not be on our side because there's a 137, 137 in parliament. But again, we're going to have a truncated form of governance. Yen Kai say, the 137 people in parliament or who belong to the, uh, the ruling party, you know, mm. they will not be able to pass certain legislations. Mm -hmm. They will not be able to help the country run. Mm. The speaker has come up with a clear uh, 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 indication, say, the MPs in the minority side you know, should indicate their absentness by writing to the speaker. Yeah. Who write to the speaker and tell them that we are absent? And then what happens? You see, when you have a hung parliament like we have, I think the judiciary was supposed to do things independent to help us develop this country. But the judiciary is doing everything possible to skew development in terms of some of the judgments of Mode Mai. So for me, Nana, we will go to court, we will get ourselves vindicated. What didn't they do? They gave a unanimous decision. People of Asin North gave another indication that your unanimous decision, you know, it goes nowhere. And here, this is where we are. And I tell you again, the God of Jesse Kwesin will come through again. And we believe, sir, if they want to use the law and not their own minds and not the agenda that has been said and not the persecution that the Attorney General is trying to get, I think, sir, the truth will come out and everybody will be vindicated. Mr. Benjamin uh, Kofi Kwasi, or your chairman of the Council of Elders, NDC South Africa, or your group chairman for Allied Consortium. So, you can leave your comments live on our Facebook live stream. Uh, Obetimi Ejaholusi, also watching you live from South Africa. Uh, His Excellency BKC, keep the good work up. And no, eh, dear Lucy Bobison, or no, Edikai Edia, but you can also uh, leave your messages over there. But, Mona, 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 and you see, uh, before you even sat, I was having a conversation with eh, Bampu Brenya, where I was referencing a lady who was listening to us, watching us from Germany yesterday. Another one was watching us from the UK. They were expressing concern with the fact that passport or ID card. Now because you a Ghanaian, also wa kwenya so But since two thousand and six. <laughs> now, we are sure so me, me be be a rope you see, everything this administration is doing you know, is to cover the mess that they find ourselves in. The issues of bread and butter, in here, say we will focus on. Mm. We are not focusing on it. The, 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 the issue about our uh, uh, development going upward, downward spiral, you know, we are not talking about it. Mm. The issue about Yemba, Yesi Free SHS, our Muko school one week. Two weeks, no more We are not talking about it. But this government wants to set agenda on things that will not put bread and butter for the Ghanaian people. And I, I feel, say, as, as people in the media, the fourth realm of the estate, mm. we need to now echo it into their ears for them to know, say, Ghanaians are angry enough. Ghanaians have had enough. In, and, and, and you see... Omoye, in, in terms of the legislature, they are now in the executive, and finally they found themselves into the judiciary. So where do we go from here? But because the law is the law, no, we would get through this. We would definitely get through it. The law will stand. The law will become vindicated. And whoever thinks, oh, yeah, be for the pe personal interest of whoever is sending them to do it, no, it will backfire in their eyes. Because unim, elections, have got consequences. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can. Yeah. Say so, so when you go to the polls and you take certain decisions and you vote, some of the consequences will come after you voted. Mm -hmm. And I'm so happy. And yes, I am they say, like President Mahama always says, this is not the time to come to Ghanaians and say, say, we told you so. We need to be sensitive to the plight of the people. But again, if Nana Adodankwa Akufuado didn't win the elections and had a second tenure, we will have people in this country who say, say, Nanado would have been the best president we've never had. Nanado would have developed this country even more than Nkrumah had done. Today, what do we see? A monumental failure. A monumental failure 
of higher proportions. And then I say, oh no, we don't go to IMF. We not today. We are here. Mm. There was a comic person that said he was the vice president of this country. Went for a program thinking he was making mockery of the NDC administration and said he has arrested the dollar and given the key to the IGP. Today, the IGP doesn't have the key. They are even planning to ar uh, arrest that or, 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 or sack that IGP because IGP has made it clear, said there's no key in his pocket. That is the joke that we are find ourselves in as a country. When was the last time Otis said, Alaji Baumia can anything about the economy? Is it your campaign? What, what is it that can about the economy? Or, or your campaign? Was it sometimes or, 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 no, Sometimes no. Uh, Mika said the god of President Mills and the god of uh, Parkway C.A. Misata, they are, they are true gods. And then questions now, no de Maya, no. He cannot even answer it himself. It's a flip-flop. A bigger one of that nature. And uh, I, oh, no, no. If Baumia wins the, uh, 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 the presidential slot of the MPP party, no, mm. that is where we'll hear things. That is where the real owners of the MPP you know, will let us know, say, can I just have started saying it already? Then uh, Baumia was given all the chance to, to showcase that economic prowess that he said he had. Mm -hmm. And then the idea could do dollar ne What is the rate of inflation? What is the rate of the development that we are we are propelling as a country? Have we gone back to the IMF? Where where is the money that he said as a deputy governor of the Bank of Ghana? He knew that there was money here. Mm. It's 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 deplorable. And and so we just pray and hope, say. The justices of the Supreme Court, who we have asked to be our lords, you know, they, they, they use the law and not the person that is pushing them to do the agenda. I'm out for us. I see I send the messages. So, uh, and I'll read a couple of the messages. Um, uh, BKC on fire inside the consortiums. Sam Lexis, Kakabito. Good afternoon going out to your day, Mensa. I am sure that Chairman... Uh, Chairman don't understand the ruling the, cons uh, the constitution says you must be 21 years and Ghanaian. Was Mr. Kwesin before he picked the forms uh, a Ghanaian? Big no. Or do you mean, sir, this question there, so if you can come again, I'll be, I'll be very glad. Uh, so that uh, uh, Chairman will answer that, that particular question. Mr. Benjamin Kwasi is the angel sent to us here in South Africa. Uh, what he's doing for Ghanaians in South Africa, even um, the Ghanaian side commissioner can't do very bad. NPP commissioner, uh, Wosifa, how can you bring somebody in your studio and allow him to bastardize our court? Uh, Kof Kofi Ampa, Kofi Ampa, good afternoon going out to you. Or say, how, why do I bring somebody in the studio to bastardize our court? Uh, I, I don't know, I don't, I, I, I don't know. I, I've not bastardized the court. Mika I said, said not to be in contempt of court. Mm -hmm. But you see, when you give a ruling as citizens, is it not our same president who says that? President Mado, on, on his inauguration, he says we should not be spectators, but, but citizens. Mm. If there's a ruling and the justices have bring, brought out the, the details of their ruling, we need to interrogate it. Yeah, of course. Interrogating it doesn't mean that we should be timid. Interrogating it doesn't mean that we should not say they are wrong when they are wrong. That, then we don't grow as a country. And mm. that is the hypocrisy of some of us as Ghanaians. Mm. Because when it is wrong, we say it's because it's coming from the justices, so we should keep quiet. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't develop any country anywhere. So not to be in contempt of God, I am saying that I have read the ruling and it is laughable. I don't see where I have bastardized the courts here. And, then, and in this case, you've not even mentioned any justices' name. Absolutely. To, to that effect. So Kofi Ampa, I, I just want to understand where you feel, said Chairman is bastardizing our judiciary. Um, if, you can, if you can make that clear, I'll be very glad. Emmanuel Emawule, I like the man in your studio. Um, Robert Atiogbe, live from Sochium, great show. Uh, Emmanuel, okay, Robert Atiogbe, good afternoon going out to you. Uh, a couple of other messages. Anzana Chama, remember, because you started talking about, we went onto the tangent of a year development and economic growth in our country. But it seems as if the last time you came into the country, we had a conversation with you on TV, and that was on fact sheet, a show that I, 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 I produced. And, and you were so worried about the rates of growth and development in this country. Uh, you mentioned it's over a period of time, we've not seen anything. Omo Omo promised you, I said it would take us to heaven, I'd rather taking us to hell. 
w w have you seen any changes since you, since, since you returned? You've been here, I think, a couple of months back and you've returned. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's become worse than what I saw. And I believe, say, going to the IMF with all the conditionalities that they've given us or no, it, it also going to contribute to the fact, say, uh, we can't develop at the pace we want to develop because mm. the conditionalities must be met. But you see, um, as patriotic citizens, we just have to do everything possible to ensure that we come out from the quagmire we find ourselves in. Development is on the descendancy. Um, economic situation has been so hard. Uh, people cannot afford three square meals a day. Uh, people cannot pay school fees for their kids. But the government keeps on telling and I'm not explaining, Chairman, mm -hmm. all of these things that you're saying. This is a result of uh, COVID-19, the impact did, of it, did COVID, Russia, Ukraine war, did, impact of it, did, did, as, as, as we speak now. Did COVID happen exclusively to Ghana alone? No. It was because of their reckless expenditure. The reckless spending... Oh, yeah. Right before the, uh, uh, the last election, the signals were there. They were being told by even uh, uh, the Honorable uh, 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 Kwame Pieni, their own person, came out and said, say, the recklessness that he, it's happening under the ad administration, it was going to land us into a ditch. President Mahama said that. The Honorable uh, uh, said, Tepe said that. Everybody said that, except the MPP administration who believes uh, they were doing the right thing. When we told them that you need to have fiscal discipline, go to the IMF, let IMF come on board and help us have that discipline, they said no. But you the only one who went to IMF as well? We went. Yes. Under what circumstances? Like President Mama was saying, look, when you have an economic situation, you face it head on. You need to ensure that whatever you are doing, no, it will inure to the benefit of the Ghanaian people. Mm. At that point, no, we had to go to the IMF. So when President Mahama two, three years ago was admonishing that the physical, uh, fiscal recklessness was too much, get someone to discipline your expenditure, go to the IMF, get a bill out. You think if I had not gone there earlier, we would be where we are? We had a finance minister who wears white and comes and quotes Bible quotations for us. When he was being told that the economy was not doing well, the minority raised these questions. There were times even that the minority believed that we were giving certain figures that were not the true reflection of the system that we were finding ourselves in. At that point, everybody says the NDC was talking too much. The day they decided to go to IMF, that is where we were vindicated. That was the day that you had somebody like an Honorable Kennedy Jepo who said, how do I go and tell my constituency uh, 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 people that, look, um, um, we said we were not going to IMF, we were going to IMF. That, you had Abronia sitting on TV and saying that, Uko you, you, you know, Abronia said that comment clearly. Abronia said, Uko IMFA, that means I'll catch IMF or say, Mejimi, Mini Sebio, Mejimi, Mini Nyansa, Beboame, Namin Share, Me Country. So uh, that's where we are today. Abronia, their chairman, one of the original chairmen. Chairman. This is Bono chairman. But these are people working. So all I'm saying is, uh, at this point that we find ourselves, you cannot expect more from them because we've gone to IMF. But even with the little, look, and then on another show I heard, say, the ECOWAS court has given a ruling, say, the EJAPA deal, there was nothing wrong with it, so government can go through with it. At this time, you think we can be so insensitive to the plight of the Ghanaian people and keep on milking them dry? And now we want to come back with a Japa deal again. I think say, 2024 should come early so that we send the elephant back to the bush and then get people who come and ensure that our economy grows. President Mahama, you be that. What, what would change if the NDC comes? Well, Because I, Ghanaians are saying that they've seen the NDC before. Yeah, my, what would my, change? My, my mom asked me two days ago and said, what would you do different? And I said, the first thing the NDC administration under President Mahama would do is to be very open to the Ghanaian people. Tell them, this is what we came to inherit. This is the challenges that we have. This is the problem that we have. Then come with homegrown measures. Come with measures that will let the economy start developing. The economy coming from the quagmire that defines itself. The truth of the matter is that if you are rallying every Ghanaian to come on board and ensure, say, we get better, no, you should be seen doing better. But in this administration, we don't say it. Have you looked at the, the expenditure of uh, uh, presidential staffers? Have you seen the expenditures that are coming from the Jubilee House? But if you are a real person, 
and you want to lead by example, like President Mahama wants to lead, everything will be different. We will develop this country, ensuring that there is no expenses that are made that will not annual to the benefit of the Ghanaian people. And India, I can give you the assurance, say, or why you be that? President Mahama, you be that. President Mahama has always said, say, he's not a saint. On the mistakes that he did when he was in government. For example, I always like talking about his, his admittance of this tractor. Uh, uh, he was given to farmers when mm. he was he was a president. Mm. He says upon hindsight, he realized that it was a mistake. He shouldn't have given it to it. There should be a pool that people go to, they come and help you and do what they have to do. Mm. And then it comes back to that. This is a leader who is learning. Even in opposition, he is looking at the mistakes he has made. And I tell you that anybody who assesses himself, realizes that my mistake, ready to learn, not with this arrogance we have in the current administration where they don't even want to listen. President Mahama will listen. What, what, what is the guarantee that Ghanaians should have? That when former President Mahama mm -hmm. is given the not the game, mm -hmm. well, no, no, Ghana for, given the fact that there has been a track record, mm -hmm. I the performance. Mm -hmm. So this one, you been able to see the say, oh, mate, yes, but Ghanaians in this country who've lived through a uh, year from 2012 up until now, mm -hmm. and with the performance of the two political parties are, uh, what sort of guarantee is former President Mahama giving to Ghanaians say Oba, the mistakes that he made during his tenure are not going to be repeated? Well, um, if you want to, to, to gauge the two administrations, like you rightly said, today, are you free as a journalist to pass any comment you want to pass against any government initiative or any government person like you did during President Mahama's time. Oh, Manasseh oh. Azuria, when he said it, say, during President Mahama's time, he could say anything and everything, and he could sleep. Can you say same in this administration? No, you can't say it. The truth of the matter, is say, there has never been a hearing or a listening president like we've had in President John Dramani Mahama. Do you tell me that a president that goes to the studio and says, say, a chief has said you should complete an SAH, SHS mm. building, mm. and he says that if the chief is giving an ultimatum, the chief should go and build it himself. Have you heard President Mahama pass such comments? Have you ever? If President Mahama had passed such a comment, do you think that we'll be here in Ghana? Because every CSO, every media person will make it topical that day. The truth of the matter is that President Mahama has continued to say, and during his campaign turn recently, he said it that this time round, he's going to listen to the grassroots. On car said, I was not listening to them. He said, I was. But at the point, I was not mm. in, in the wider sense of it. But now he's going to listen. And every other thing that he's going to do will have to adhere to the benefits of Ghana. So he's going to involve all of us. Chuma, it's not going to be Chuma, I find family a, and friends. I find it a bit, a bit, a bit, yeah. a bit, um, a bit interesting because I remember very well during the, the lead up to the 2020 mm -hmm. uh, yeah, elections. Mm -hmm. I remember when you came out with your manifesto and the sort of attraction uh, manifesto number the Babontini in ya yeah na when in central for you say oh my manifesto e dey ase eh emu de kakra eh emu e nya e ni say indeed enya mu amote soro no nko na mokokotena se ekruti nsem no egu krata so e de Babontini you were engaging the grassroots the grassroots the yes. people at the grassroots yes Muni om netina se na muni omu din komo en omu chere muni amu pe en omu mu trogu krate mu edibaye. So I I am finding interesting when you say say former President Mahama said babiwa obetiye grassroots no. I said. Are we saying said you tiye kane no? When to me am finding you mana. So if you listen to me a minute ago, make I say despite the fact that President Mahama was dealing with the grassroots no. He has said, said this time, Oba, Oba, you know, wider consultations. When I say wider consultations, the wider consultations the ensuring, say, the ordinary Ghanaian is also taking a board in our developmental drive. The wider consultation, is say, Oba, tie, I hear appointment with people who are going to be able to help us develop this country. We have a finance minister who has underperformed, but he's still the finance minister. President Mahama says he will listen to Ghanaians. Ghania, even the MPP administration for Koka say, release the finance minister. President said, I won't release him. But President Mahama said, I won't do such a thing. 
I was listening to the Ghanaian people. I will sit with the Ghanaian people, ensuring that we develop Ghana together. Okay, ne, 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 uh, the slogan for the, for the last uh, uh, presidential primaries. He said, mm. building the Ghana we, we want, want mm. together. together. So this speaks about it, and this is his second coming. The second coming is ensure that we build the Ghana we want together. A couple of messages here, please. Oba, Mr. Wa, 10 year dear, and yeah, dear, Mr. So, so, um, so somebody's asking, or Dwayne Mensah is asking, how come GM lost the 2020 elections? Uh, I'll say he lost it in 2016 and he lost again in 2020. If indeed he was listening to the people at the grassroots, or Dwayne Mensah, dear, or the Eba, you know, Benji, I will not read your comment because it is on savory. Um, Suleiman Aquino, Sefa, the Supreme Court sometimes makes some of us feel like we are not Ghanaians. Why? The same Supreme Court ordered EC to allow uh, wait and have patience for Park with see Indum dual citizenship documents to arrive. The same Supreme Court tell citizens to be persecuted. Suleiman Aquino on India or the Esuma Ebayeno. And that begs the question. Do you sometimes feel neglected? Well, well, it, it's something that has now become topical mm. among people in the diaspora because, like I said, you, you care about the country. You send remittances. Those remittances, you know, it's supposed to help the country grow. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so if you have situations like this where um, it looks as if you are not appreciated, you know, it becomes difficult. But hope is on the way. President Mahama has said it clearly that when he comes, drastic shouldn't be a problem. And I think that... On, 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 on a broader scale, mm. as Ghanaians, as policymakers, we need to take a second look at this whole issue about dual citizenship, about people in the diaspora coming to help in terms of develop, developing the country. Because if we want to continue with the trajectory that we have, mm. especially with the Quaison case, you'll find out that there will be a lot of people who have got brains, there will be a lot of people who have got resources, there will be a lot of people who have all that it is that is needed to develop Ghana, and they will not be coming. Mm. Um, okay, when someone tries to attack uh, Mr. Benjamin Kweshi, we will not allow them on our risk because, please, uh, it's, 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 demo but, it's but democracy. It's, Mr. Kweshi, I understand, but, yeah. you know, it gets to a point in time that uh, we need mm. to also ensure, say, we are decross. Yeah. The fact that on to be as massy, and I say on you be a journey and cob and chrome no interest. No, 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 no. That's not how democracy is no, supposed, absolutely, to, absolutely. supposed to operate. Yeah. So please, if you or they assemble at all, they are someone a yeddy attempt as a tree. I am piato and yeah, they are making kind. So forgive me if I am not reading that. I want the show to 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 to, to remain respectful. Sabri, be we better now can ask him now on Tiasia. If you have alternative views. Mm. Express your alternative views, mm. but don't insult. Absolutely. Be out here. Absolutely. Let, let me let me continue um, reading a couple of messages. Now, Mr. Brown, gentleman uh, in the studio. His name is Mr. Kwashi. Uh, or say you are dishonest, but okay. Oh, my, my, my main can't say not all can hear. He has heard. Has he heard Mahama use the word? Uh, in Kwasi Asem, referring to Kwasi's court case during the recent campaign, mm. was he actually would ask you. Citizen Sika Togo, good afternoon, bro. I have been listening in keenly to the submissions of your guest, especially on the Jachi Kwasi issue. And unsurprisingly, he keeps uh, flip-flopping like the NDC have been doing <laughs> instead of believing in the legal team of the MP. If they believe that... Mr. Jachi Kwesin has no case to answer. Then, the court is the appropriate forum to prove that. Either than that, shouting from the rooftops won't do anything. We are not shouting. We've indicated, sir, we'll go to court. We, when I sat here, I said, sir, we believe in the justices. But the justices should know that the law resides with the people. That's all I've said. The law resides with the people. Um, young Koha, uh, Joseph. I see, okay, all right. So I think that he was referring to a couple of uh, other individuals to, I think, Joseph, sir, be careful, please. Uh, we cannot allow that to happen. Or see, we have a shameless and a reckless government. Sam Lexis 
Kaka B2, one of the other day, Asuma Ebay. And keep your uh, comments coming. Mm. And you can continue liking the uh, host. Please stamp your authority on any attack on His Excellency, Mr. Kweshi. Of course, I, I, I will not tolerate any insult, um, frankly. We cannot do that. Yen timi en toko so en amin ti obi kanasem and I've said it. Obi kanasem na se won ti asia. Wa dwen chere fofor no fato. Absolutely. Na yen fa nin komo nen komo nen yede. Of course. Eno na e ka bi ma min ka bi no. Absolutely. Na se me ka ma asem na won ti asia na wudi matem dia. Ah yen se ne se won mo ka bi ma min ka bi no ma nin go so. Mr. Kwesi yen tong won chere so I think that let's let's use the f- next 5 minutes to 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 wrap up. We, the NDC has gone for an election in Asenot, by elections in Asenot. You've won. There are a lot of issues that came up uh, yeah, from that particular uh, election. The NDC in particular mentioned say, it is indeed a caricature of what is likely to happen in 2024. Uh, the MPP said, well, uh, from what you said, and I know the sort of connections you have with the leadership of the party. How prepared are you for 2024? Anytime I hear, say, MPP4, say, Asin North has always been an NDC seat. No? I find it, say, they are not be, they are being economical with the truth. Because Osher dynamics of Asin North, it's a swing seat. It's a swing constituency. So, after all that went into Asin North, after Quaison's uh, uh, annulment of him being a parliamentarian, mm. going back, the monies that were pumped in there, the overnight developments that went through there, and the NDC coming out to win with plus, minus, over 4,000 votes. It's something that should send a clear signal, said the NDC means business. The NDC is coming back to power in 2024. That is, that is, that is, yesterday. That is gospel. Yes, Chairman, yesterday, I hosted... Yeah. The central regional chairman of the NDC mm-hmm. in this very studio. Very well. Seated where you are seated now. Very well. He spoke with the same bravado and confidence yeah. at Casa NA. Yeah. What have you, the NDC, seen? What we have seen is the quagmire we find ourselves in as a country. And what we have seen is that we are going to give Ghanaians the message of hope and redemption. The message that will resonate with every Ghanaian to say, say, take us by our words. This time, we say we're coming to do ABC. Look. What, what should Ghanaians do in case, say, former president John Romani Mahama, or Kojina, Nipa Domenim, and your Madin Kumo, or your Makasa, oh, ya dear to me, a two Abama. Samo Banamu and to me, and you are Ghana for your mother. Yeah, bear. Yeah, but the discussion of say ye, ye into me and ya will not be there to discuss because the truth of the matter is that we've learnt in opposition. We have a leader that is ready to rally all of us around himself and build a Ghana, a better one that we want together. The focus will be about building together. Ye yim, ye ye friends and family, ye ye cronies here and there, but building it together, all of us. And the Muba no be wo NPP Muno wo. Sunyahunu, nim diye biya obe timi diya buwa the National Democratic Congress. Ama ye timi amo maine su, amo maine jina ne naswa. Is the NDC ready to pick any person outside the... Uh, but this is, this is, this is common knowledge. Why do I say so? The Senchi, the Senchi Forum. Mm. You have the likes of, it, it's only the MPP as a political party na Amba. But the likes of Kwame Pienu, mm-hmm. the likes of people in the opposition mm-hmm. who were learned, who were very, very good in terms of the economy, they were there. They were there. They gave propositions. They, 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 they made presentations. And those p- presentations were encompassed in the decision that President Mahama took at that time. I'm talking about somebody who be or be play active role, not when... As and when the person is needed. President Mahama is an all inclusive person. I can I can tell you here and now. Sir so President Mahama would consult anybody that has the knowledge to help develop this country. We, like he always says, we all need to be patriotic. We find ourselves in a ditch. Let's all come out of it together. President Mahama is not going to say, say, me they mean to be He will listen and he would ensure say the right things are done. And he would listen. Anybody, irrespective of their political colorations. 
that it's it it, it it's true. That's that a is, promise. That is a promise. Bosha moche gana for no no. Bosha eshe no. In the days and 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 weeks ahead, no, me assure say when President Mama starts talking about this manifesto and others, no, then Ghanaians will understand when the Central Council or Central Regional yet Central Regional Chairman Kasai, no, we would see him put into paper all the things that we know he's going to do. Then you and I will appreciate the fact say the second coming of President John Dramani Mahama is to develop this country and to ensure say we come out of the economic woes that we find ourselves. In. What is the one critical thing you feel say the NDC must do? <laughs> when given the nod to lead the party within the first 180 days i think i think the first thing i want president mama to do is to ensure say um certain certain things that have not gone well mm. uh for example look at the toll the toll gate on mm. the roads mm. i think this this decision was a very bad one because from where i come from and from any other place in the world that i've visited you know, Road tolls are used to develop the routes. Mm -hmm. So it's something that we need to look at again. And I think President Mahama during his first 100 days should see how he can take out the country from the economic mess. Then, critical to every Ghanaian, and even to myself, mm. it's looking at the revision he has promised of the free SHS uh, 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 models. Because when you look at... <laughs> my mom says that we, we are toying with the future of our children. Mm. And I think, say... President Mahama should critically look at that. And, and also, some of the projects that uh, has been abandoned, mm. uh, developmental projects like roads that have been stopped and other things. President Mahama has said, said he used, uh, yeah, I think, about two years to look at abandoned projects. Mm. Is that, does that go to show that e-blocks now are abandoned? Why not? Why not? The e-blocks, what was the purpose for them? You feel, sir, if we are putting all those things in, in shape, no, free HS will be facing the kind of problems oh, yeah. are facing. He would, he would go back to it. And he has promised us. Don't only say, say, he will finish those abandoned projects. He says, those that have even been started by this administration, He'll continue he will them. continue it. Yeah. That is the catch word. He never said, say, me ba 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 yem I said, the ones that the MPP administration have started, that is for the benefit of Ghanaians. He will ensure, say, he completes them as well. Chairman, my your final words. I say, um, which kind of question is that bringing NPP member to get active rule in NDC? You know it won't happen. Uh, if you're asking <laughs> consultation, then I can agree. But you know, I uh, have both uh, the, the 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 leaders of the two uh, political parties. I'm talking about the NDC and the NPP. Um, Game Boy, it's over Kaya. Consistently. The issue has been, and I said the statement has been, I'll, I'll, I'll build an all-inclusive government. government. Yes. Game Boy, I'm asking this question because of the statement that we consistently hear. Yet, every person you form the party in the into all-inclusive, then they are So, ba, on kwa party, muna wosho, muso wo form wana, and I said, oh she, oh she, Ghana, you know, it's not Ghana, yeah, yeah, any, yeah, man, this is for kwa. Be yam yinna, be yam MPP, CPP, PPP, PS, and you be a cabia. Walk around me, party be a crab. So that's that's why I'm asking that question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Game budget. Tell me, my main job final is now. Young Vanguard, you're training. Well, well, it's been well, an exciting main, conversation. Yeah, my, my, my main put it on record again, sir. I have not bastardized the courts. I respect the decision of the court. The NDC respects the decision of the court. That is why the NDC is in court. We are not saying, say, we are going to take the law in our own hands. We respect the court. But we just want the court to be fair. And I don't think we are asking too much. We will present our case before them, and then they, they make the, the judgments that they are supposed to make. Um, I think, say, hope is on its way. Um, I know, say, the economic conditions in Ghana are very, very high. Um, uh, deplorable state of every infrastructure in the country, and uh, we we should pray. Say 2024, Beba, and Ghanaians should give President Mahama another chance. President Mahama will do better. President Mahama will ensure that we develop Ghana the way we all want it. President Mahama will ensure that we put every single cent that we make as a country to better use. Better use not for friends and cronies, better use not for family, but better use for the Ghanaian people. That, it's a promise. Oh, Mr. Musa, are you ready to return to Ghana, live here permanently? 
and work with a uh, president Mahama if he wins the 2024 general elections in any shape capacity and in any field that president Mahama will want anybody to work we will work for for it. I, I i i think i've been uh, in a year i come here more frequently than i stay outside and uh, i believe that whatever we are doing outside we need to be bringing it down here and ensuring that we grow we develop our people so for me it has not only to be outside it has been to bring the knowledge you get outside bring the resources you have outside to ghana to help grow but you see the challenge they say if you do all that and the homegrown environment doesn't help develop the businesses now, then you are tempted to go back again because they mm. have the atmosphere. Mm. But once we have those homegrown policies, once the leaders of our country are ready to ensure, say, we have value for money, we have entrepreneurial